hi it's Anne from the useless crafter I'm so excited to show you this file um, it's so versatile and I love how delicate it looks but that it's super simple so basically this file can be for the way I see it it's a mirror right here so it's like a mirror frame um, it could also be um, I don't know I feel like all the princesses hold it so I've done two different themes to show you how it can really transform itself by using different colors and different objects so the first one I did was bell so I used this as a mirror with bell in the middle and then the shaker so the file comes with uh, this breakdown it's your mirror which is two layers. It's got all the cutouts for the top layer, and then the back is sort of like, you know, like a little outline. Um, the background is the full background. This is where you're going to put your wooden dowel to, to glue to it. Um, your acetate is if you wanna do a shaker. And then the foam, I always do a double layer of foam. Um, I used foam that you can find on my Amazon shop. Um, and so the foam, you can either buy at Michael's or on my Amazon shop. And the foam cuts on my Cricut Maker on this file setting of flex foam. So it uses the rotary blade, but it cuts, this is just, it's the perfect size. It's not too thin, not too thick. And then it comes with a banner. So the banner you can put kind of, I've been putting the banner right around here. Now let me show you the other thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, yes, the foam. <laughs> so the way I cut the foam is it kind of falls in between the outer and the inner. So basically what that means is any mistakes that you made, whether it's the gluing portion, um, you didn't line it up properly, it's all going to be hidden. So the file is designed so that it is as foolproof as possible. <laughs> okay, it comes grouped and labeled. So now that we know what everything is, all you have to do is go to the side and you can just delete all the words because we know what everything is. Now, everything is still grouped together and I like it grouped together because when you're changing the size, you want everything to be resized appropriately. So, um, you know, like if we resize the frame, you also want your acetate and your foam layers to also be sized so that it fits. Um, I, you know, depending on what you're making this for, I like to resize it by using the arrow right here to move it in and out, okay? And then what I would do is, this background is a good, um, is a go good way to gauge how big it is. So if you just click on the background, it will tell you this is about three inches across and four and a half inches long. So if you wanted to make something six inches, then go back to here, kind of eyeball it, and see if you're closer to the six inches. And no, we're not. So just click on here again, maybe go that much, and now we're almost at six inches. Once you determine your size, then you can go and you can grab the whole thing and ungroup it. Now at this point, once you ungroup it, you don't want to change the size of any one particular piece, okay? You gotta change it as a whole. So I would always, like let's say you decided, oh, I wanna make this a little bit bigger, you can always go to select all so that it's all grouped together and resize it. Okay, so then you would just pick the colors. Now if you wanted to do Bell, the way I did Bell was I went to images, you can buy an image from Design Space so we can look up beauty, oops, if I can spell. There are some images through Design Space, so you can use that. And I just did, because it was you know on the smaller side, I did a print and cut. Oh my gosh, what just happened here? I don't want uploaded. Um, so I did a print and cut. Um, but for the Evil Queen, I actually, it was an SVG file. So let's see, for here what you can do is you can go to, what do I want? Um, 
Oh, licensed content. That's what I want. I want Disney. And then that will help you sort out your pieces a little bit more. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure that I've seen Belle before. There we go. What? Um, interesting. I've seen Belle before. You might have to buy Belle. Let's just use this one for now and add it to the canvas. So you want to determine the size here. So you know that this is the opening of our mirror. So if this was, you know, what you wanted to put in there, that's how I would do it. And then you would just change the colors and go to make it. Now, the um, I love this banner. Let me show you what the banner looks like. You can ungroup it. It's in two pieces so that it cuts beautifully and it's easy to put together. So you have like um, an outline there. Um, so if you choose to do the words, you can go to text and here you can put happy birthday, you can put the name, you can put bell, you can put um, the age if you already have happy birthday written somewhere. I'm just gonna type in Charlotte. You can change whatever text you want it to be. So let's change it to one of my favorite fonts, Hannah Berry Koo. Let's see what that looks like. Now it does have a little bit of a bend, right? So what you would do is you would put this down here and let me make this bigger so we can really see it. Okay, so you, you know, I you could make it a little bit smaller just so that we know it's gonna fit. And then you can grab all of this and center it. So go to align and center. Oh. That was not good. Okay, so we know it's centered within the piece. We can move it up a little bit or down. There we go. And then go to curve. And we're gonna curve this a little bit to go with the bend. Now it's more difficult to do it with, um, with fonts that are more of a handwriting calligraphy font. So what I would do at this point, you see how it kind of broke open there. I would ungroup it. We have the general shape that we want and I would move them in so that we can weld them together in a little bit. Let's see, everything still looks kind of good. Let's see, let's move this over a little bit. Oops, let me grab the T, hit the shift key, T and E. Let's move this over just a little bit. It's too much. Okay, so from here, you can grab all the letters, hit your shift key. And then you wanna weld the name together, okay? So we're gonna weld it. You can choose to do an offset if you wanted to. So at this point, if you wanted to do an offset, you would just take the name. If you wanted to make it a little bit smaller so that your offset won't be so big, you can go to offset. And I personally like my offset at 0 0.10. So I will go in here and type in 0 0.10, hit your tab key so that it will refresh and give you what that offset looks like unless of course design space is running slow. <laughs> All right, so this is a humongous offset. This is not 0.10. I'm not really sure. It just didn't really update. So let's see if it will update now. Okay. So my offset isn't working, but that's how you would do it. You would, you can move this little ball. This to the right will be bigger to the left will be smaller. When you hit that line, it's neutral, so there is no offset. Um, so you wanna be somewhere over to the right of that line. Um, once you like this, the offset, you would just hit apply. Um, so this is a gigantic offset. It's not something that I would want, but that's how you would do it. All right, let's go to the make it screen so you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna delete this for now.
and everything is in place. The only thing that I want to talk about is um, this back. Some of you prefer that on your back, you're going to glue your dowel behind it. If you want to hide the dowel, you will want to duplicate this piece. So let's go back to cancel for a second. And you can see it's just a few layers. It's going to look amazing. Um, you've seen the two that I've done. I plan on doing a few more just to show you the variety and how easy it is to add something. When you go to duplicate, if you wanted to, for instance, have uh, your back be like a glitter cardstock, then what you want to do is when you duplicate it, you also need to flip it. So you can flip horizontal or vertical, it doesn't matter. But that way, when it cuts out, in this case, it doesn't matter because this is symmetrical. But when you don't have a symmetrical piece and you want to do that back side so that it hides the dowel, you always wanna duplicate and you wanna flip it so that the back, it's flipped over so that you have the pretty side showing. All right, uh, so we have all that. The other thing with Belle was I added rolled flowers. So you can go into images and get a rolled flower and I added leaves. So super, super easy, right? Evil Queen, what I did with Evil Queen was I added an apple. So it was just the difference in color scheme and the, um, the extra pieces that we added. I still added the same flowers. Now for Evil Queen, if you don't want to use a shaker, that's super easy. All you do is you get rid of the acetate layer and the two foam pieces. This will still stack upon each other and then you would just stack whatever picture that you end up putting in here or words or whatever it is. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any additional questions. You can always reach out to me too um, through email or through the website. If it's email, it's Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. Um, and just put in the subject line that it was a purchase SVG file and that you have a question. All right. Thanks so much. Talk to you guys later.